one of the things I realized today prior to the game is uh, a year and a week ago, uh, I was sitting on the couch, uh, you know, a couple months prior, I had been named the head coach, and I was getting ready to watch uh, the Timbers play Seattle at Seattle. And uh, Lexi Lalas texted me, and I hadn't commented, you know, made any comments, uh, hadn't been announced really uh, officially, and he, he said, do you have anything to comment on about the game? And I said one thing, I said, the Portland Timbers will no longer be inferior uh, to the Seattle Sounders. And that was no disrespect to Seattle. Um, you know, and it really wasn't about the game that day so much, but it was about the future. And there's no reason why we, uh, we would be inferior. Uh, there's no reason why we should be the, the little brother. Um, you know, we should be a legitimate uh, contender. We should be capable of, of beating the Sounders and, and not it being a miracle. Um, and so I think it's very satisfying a year later um, that here we are uh, getting a result, three points against the Sounders. And I think it says everything about how far we've come as a club. But the reality is our mentality overall I thought was very good. I um, thought we started the game well again, got the first goal again. That's now four games in a row where we've gotten the first goal. Um, you know, I thought we managed uh, overall the game very well, especially at the end. Um, you know, I thought we had moments where we played some very good football. We, we had our foot on the ball, and we possessed the ball, and had some nice combination play and interplay. You know, we need to find the second goal. You know, for me, that's that's big. Uh, we don't want to be in a situation where we're 1-0 uh, if we can help it. But the nice thing is, when we have been in that situation, we've 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 managed to get out of the the game with three points. It's a big win. Uh, you know, obviously we. We get closer to our goal, get in the playoffs, and get a high seed as possible. Um, we're still just taking things one one game at a time. We get back to training tomorrow, and then we get ready for another home game on on Saturday against Salt Lake. There's no there's no losing losing the the plot. Um, we're focused every every week, just one game, taking it one game, one ninety minutes at a time. That's been the message um, for the past two months, and and everybody's dialed in and, and on board. They've lost two in a row. Uh, they got embarrassed twice in a row. I mean, they're fighting for their lives. We knew they were going to come in and try and fight us, try and turn it into a, a scrum from time to time. We were ready for that, and we'd expect nothing less. You know, Ziggy coaches his guys really well, and they're always up for it, um, especially for a derby game. Everything just goes out the way, uh, out the window. Um, records, points, you know, it's just a – that was the most intense atmosphere I've – I've ever played in. I thought it was fantastic from both sets of supporters, and that leads to uh, two teams competing very hard. Uh, you mentioned the four in the back and, and Donovan, but uh, the reality is this team, we take a lot of pride in, in the pressure that we put on teams up front, and that starts with Maxi and, and Khalif and those guys today. Um, and it's the whole group. I think this group um, you know, has that layman's mentality that we're going to work hard for one another. and. Whatever it takes, uh, we're going to do to get the job done. I think you saw that tonight. The game was pretty at times. It was ugly at times. And uh, when we needed a big play from somebody, they uh, they definitely c came up with it. Well, sometimes you need a little help from the crossbar. But uh, I think we defended well. I think they only had two really good looks at goal. And uh, we were able to deal with that. But uh, apart from that, I think we defended well from Maxi up top, uh, straight back to the back four. You know, when you come off two defeats that like they have, they have to come and they have to try to push and keep us back at home because they know we're a strong team at home. So we were expecting them to push. So we weathered the storm and then we settled down and then we started playing football. What did this win feel like tonight with that very, very crazy audience out there tonight? Uh, whenever we're playing against Seattle, it's always a big game. So we were so ready for this game. Did it add a little extra to your celebration on top of everything else? Yeah.